In this video, we'll go through exam questions that cover the criteria read and draw simple charts and diagrams, including a tally chart, block diagram, or block graph. You can locate the questions on the mathmas.com website under entry 1. The questions come from different exam boards. We'll start with the non calculated questions and then we'll move to the calculated questions. Here is the first one. This chart shows the number of people on the tram. At what time were the most people on the tram? So comparing the bars, this is the highest. So that is 3 o'clock. So that's the time. Now we'll move into the calculated questions. Leila draws a chart to show how many meals she makes. Leila makes three fish meals. Show the number of fish meals on the chart. So fish, that's one, two, three. So we're going to go up to three. So we've shown three fish meals. Leila makes the tally chart of the meals people choose. How many more people choose pizza than curry? So pizza, we've got 5 and 5, which is 10, 11, 12, 13. Curry, we've got 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 13 take away 9 gives us 4 so 4 more people choose pizza than curry Rita has a chart of the number of people using the gym how many more people use the gym on Tuesday than Thursday so Tuesday Thursday how many more? So on Thursday we've got two. So Tuesday we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more. Seth works in the restaurant at the museum. He keeps a tally of the meals he sells. He sells 11 lamb meals. Complete the tally chart. So, 11 lamb meals. So, under lamb here, we're going to do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Alicia sees this chart in the museum. How many new pictures were delivered in July? So there is the month July. So we're going up to this number here, which is 10. So 10 new pictures were delivered in July. Evie keeps a tally of items on the bakery shelf. There are eight rolls on the shelf. Complete the tally chart. So we have rolls here. So we're going to show eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If you ask some customers if they are happy with the shop, 14 customers say they are happy. Three customers say they are not happy. Complete the block chart to show this. So 14 of them are happy. So there we have happy. We're going to go up to 14.
and three of them were not happy. So we're going to go one, two, three. Fez draws the block chart to show the number of games each person won. Fez won 12 games. Complete the block chart. So. Fez and Viv. So, 12 games for Fez. So there is Fez. We're going up to 12. And Viv, we're going up to 7. You could use a ruler to draw this, it would be ideal. But it doesn't really matter as long as you you go to the right height for the bar. Rosa draws a block chart to show how her friends travel to school. Nine friends walk to school. Four friends get the bus. Three friends go by car. Complete the block chart. So we've got the number of friends who walk. We need to complete this for those who go by bus or by car. So bus, we've got four. So we're going up to four. And then car, we go into three. So up to three. Dylan keeps a tally of the jobs he does. He cleans seven stables. He cleans four saddles. Complete the tally chart. So clean stable. So that is seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And four saddles. So one, two, three, four. A baker wants the tally chart to show the number of biscuits that were left at the end of the day. The trainee starts to draw the tally chart. These are the nut biscuits that were left. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 of them. So we're going to show them here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11, 12. That's under nut for nut biscuits. How many more nut biscuits than cherry biscuits were left? So, nut biscuits, there were 12. Cherry biscuits, we've got 1, 2, 3. So, 12 take away three gives us nine so there are nine more nut biscuits than cherry biscuits The manager wants a chart to show the number of model animals sold last week. The shop sold 19 horses last week. Draw in the bar for horses. So we're showing 19 horses sold. So we're going to go up to 19, so 17, 18, 19. You can colour the bar in 
but you can also leave it as it is. State one thing that the chart shows about the numbers of different models sold. Horses has the highest number, so we can say horses have the highest number sold. highest number of models sold. The manager needs to know the number of mugs, bowls and plates sold last week. His assistant starts to draw a tally chart to share this information. This is the number of plates sold. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them. Complete the tally chart to show the number of plates sold. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, because there were eight plates that we counted. The manager wants to know how many more small mugs were sold than large mugs. What does his assistant tell him? So we're comparing small mugs and large mugs. So large mugs we have five, six, seven. Small mug, we have five, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So if we do thirteen, take away seven, which gives us six, so we can say six more small mugs were sold. The manager also wants to know how many bowls were sold. What does his assistant tell him? So we're looking for the number of bowls now. So that we have bowls, five, ten. So exactly ten. A party planner gets his booking for a dinner party for 16 people. He starts to make a tally chart to check the orders for the mains. Complete tally chart. So, mains, we've got five meat, which has been shown, nine fish, so we're going to do that, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Two vegetarian. So one, two. A chef needs to order the meat and fish three days before the dinner party on Saturday. On what day should he order the meat and fish? So the days of the week go like this, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and then Sunday. So the party is on Saturday, we're looking for three days before that, so going backwards, one, two, three, and that's Wednesday. The dinner party is for 16 people. The party planner starts to draw a seating plan. How many more chairs are needed? So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So if we do 16, take away 13, that gives us three. So three more chairs are needed.
There are four bus stops at the bus station. Which bus stop does bus number nine go from? Tick one. So, bus number nine. Looking at the numbers, there is nine. So it goes from bus stop B. A supervisor counts the number of people waiting at each bus stop. This chart shows the number of people at each bus stop. How many more people did the supervisor count at bus stop A than at bus stop D? So looking at A, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 of them. Looking at bus stop D, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So if we do 12 take away 8, gives us 4. So that's how many more people they counted at bus stop A than at bus stop D. This list is in the lift. What level is the car park on? So we're looking for car park, that's this one here, that is on level 2. Kimi has counted the number of recycled items. How many items are there in total? So we've got 9 tin cans. Three plastic bottles and seven newspapers. Now you could use a calculator to add these, but three and seven they number bonds, they make ten. Ten and the nine that gives us nineteen. And you can just double check your answer using a calculator if you like. Show the number of each item on the block diagram below. So ten cans. We've got nine of them, so we're going to go up to nine. And then plastic bottles, we've got three. So one, two, three. And newspapers, there are seven so one two three four five six seven Joe has these packets of seeds record the number of seed packets in the tally chart below the first one has been done for you so we've got the carrots done let's do peas so we've got one, two, three, four of them. Tomatoes, we've got one, two, three. And onions, one, two, three, four, five. And this is the end of the question.